Hi all, Retro Tech Chris here again. Recently, I picked up a newly manufactured CGA card, and we're going to explore it today. This card was around $31 shipped from AliExpress, and apparently there's a maker who is putting these together. More on that in a minute. Originally, I was going to do a comprehensive review on this card, but my friend Retro Eric made a great video on this. I suggest you watch it. A link is in the description. So with that in mind, perhaps we'll just have a look at the hardware briefly, then we'll try an experiment or two, then we'll look at a few games. Let's take it to that point. Let's go! So here you can see the card. And compared to traditional CGA cards of the past, we can see there's a lot of consolidation going on here with respect to chips. And of note, some of the chips on this card are recycled chips. Here you can see the back of the card. It's pretty much unremarkable as you would expect. On the silk screen of the card was a website www.8086cpu.com So you know that means we need to visit it. So visiting the website we get some details of the card, a technical reference, a screenshot of the card itself, and some games. And very cool here you see a consolidation of a past CGA card to this card. Pretty neat. It's time to power on. And I've chosen a very unique PC for this experiment, a Pentium 2. The first thing we're going to do is actually power on the Pentium 2 with a VGA card installed for comparison. You can see this particular CompUSA PC boots up with its splash screen. And from there we proceed to boot into DOS as you can see here. I'll boot up my LAN manager briefly so you can see that. After a few seconds my DOS menu starts to do that. We initialize the network card with the TCP IP stack, and we're on our way. Next, we'll boot up in CGA mode. And you're going to see from the get-go, this PC is not happy at all. Let's have a listen. We'll perform a similar experiment where we boot up the network and you'll see that the PC is now a little bit less angry, but we didn't get to see any of the BIOS splash screen. We're flying a little bit blind here. Now let's talk a little bit about how we're going to harness this Pentium 2 power with this 8-bit CGA card. I'll be using an RGB to HDMI from Retro Hack Shack to capture the video output you see today. So if we read this description from AliExpress, we can see it says that the CGA card basically plays an important role for the Pentium or Celeron processor. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that to the test and see how that works. Or as I would like to say, challenge accepted. I've installed this card in an Intel E139761 motherboard. And this is an OEM motherboard for Intel, and I guess was used in this CompUSA PC build. Now what I discovered is this BIOS is a little non-standard. For one thing, it only supports one floppy drive, so there's that. And there aren't any video options for a CGA card as one would expect. Running the 8088 mile per hour demo actually runs pretty well on this machine. I was impressed. Here we'll see an excerpt where it builds up the number of colors, but yeah, large portions of the demo ran just fine on this system. If you want to see some flicker, get ready. We can do a directory listing and you can see it does pretty well in some portions, but for most of the time, we're only seeing the bottom portion of the screen. And now for some more fun, 
let's run a Check It benchmark. I guess what we're seeing here is probably some form of snow and it's pretty impressive. And while we're in Check It, we might as well run some video tests. We can see the memory passes, so that's good. I love these page displays here, they're pretty cool. As well as the character sets, we'll just go ahead and push through these, but you can see them and pause the video if you'd like to see more. I also love the color palette test, as well as the alignment tests that you see as well. We can see everything is looking good, so that's good to know. For fun, I also loaded up Top Bench, and you can see that nice CGA snow coming through for us once again. Very nice. Next, I thought I would run the famous CompuShow. However, we got a runtime error. I found this nice information page online that told me how to get past this on a more modern PC. So we ran a few commands here to patch the executable after unpacking it. So first we unpack it, and then we patch it, and we will then be able to run it. So here we go, running the patch utility after doing the unpacking, and before long we can launch C-Show. Unfortunately, I don't read German. So with C-Show running, we can show some graphics. First I'll show this RetroTech Chris graphic and we'll show it, and it appears in a nice shade of magenta, or purple. And I also have a Septandi graphic from when I was doing Septandi. We can show that as well in the four different CGA modes that are presented. We get different colors and results as we cycle through these, some better than others, but you can choose which one is your personal preference. Not too bad for a CGA mode system. Now it's time to have some fun. Unfortunately, Commander Keen Goodbye Galaxy did not load, and I didn't troubleshoot it. Fortunately though, Jeopardy did, and you can see me here playing against Dan and Irene. And I will say, when it comes to art and artists, that Irene knows her stuff. Pretty impressive here. I didn't have a clue, and I didn't even get a chance to buzz in, but apparently that is the answer there. We've learned something today. Next, I fired up Wheel of Fortune, just to spin the wheel for fun. You can see the wheel spinning here, and it does spin for a little while. And of course, to be a little bit salty, I chose the most common letter ever, the letter Z. Next, I tried to fire up Tetris, but we got a divide overflow, oh well. But I was able to fire up Card Sharks, However, I think that the CPU might be a little fast for this game, and there's no throttling, so it provides some interesting displays, doesn't it? Another fun game is this Wolfenstein 3D CGA that was put together by James Howard, as you see here. So I loaded this up. I just love the dithering on this. It looks really, really good. It's pretty impressive. We'll pop in and play a new game here for just a little bit, on easy mode, of course. So now that we're appropriately psyched, we can crawl around a little bit and we'll pick up some ammunition that we see over here. And maybe we'll pick up some food that we see over there. And let's go find a bad guy that we can take out. We'll go through a couple of doors and before long, we'll find the bad guy and we'll take him out. And I think we'll call it good, but this looks really great. It's impressive to see the great work here. And this looks great on CGA. And the final game that I wanted to fire up was Lemmings. Unfortunately, I didn't have my mouse drivers loaded and I couldn't remember what any of the controls were. I kept on pressing keys until I found some obscure keys that allowed me to navigate, but I just called it quits at that point. In any event, that's what I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun to explore this on the CompUSA PC. As always, thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.